All right, what's up, everybody? You got your boy Blue Water Cowboy Mike back in the house. Here we are on, uh, I don't know, uh, episode two of our 2022 Christmas uh, holiday special. So, uh, the last one we did was um, <clears throat> homemade pizzas. Today, I got one, I got a good one for you guys. So, today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make homemade marasadas okay we all love marasadas in hawaii we all have family that come over unexpectedly you know uh i don't have to tell you but you're gonna have to wait like one hour to get marasadas from uh from leonard's so um <coughs> to fix that problem i'm gonna teach you guys how to make marasadas hawaiian homemade portuguese marasadas okay um the whole the whole reason for this is I want I want to free you guys up, you know. I just want you guys to learn how to bake like one or two things. Then it's gonna encourage you to do more because you're gonna realize like, hey, we get we don't have to go to the store to do this stuff. We can make it at home. So let me tell you, all this stuff started from the plantation time. You know when they when they were outdoors. They made this outdoors, you know what I mean, in a, in a, in a barbecue, uh, an open fire, you know. So, uh, it's, not, it's not difficult to make this at home uh, with your, your family and your kids. So, yet again, we're trying to do a Christmas holiday uh, special that um, teach you how to bake. And then we're going to take you guys fishing, of course, you guys know that. So, um, the first thing I want to share with you guys is this awesome place called Ross's. Okay, so I went to Ross's and bought all this stuff. Look at this thing. This thing was $2.99. You see that? You got a little roller, little cookie cutter, you know. And I got this Christmas set right here. A little baking rack so you can uh, make your cookies and cool your cookies. Or for us, we're going to cool our marasadas on this. And look at this. It comes with all these little uh, cookie cutter things, which... We're gonna use this. Why not? Let's, let's, we're, we're, we're gonna make we'll make some cookies in a, in on the next show or something. I'm teaching you guys how to make some, I don't know, shortbread cookies or sugar cookies or something. But yeah, check out Ross's. You know, this all, all this together was like 15 bucks. You know. Oh, I got measuring cups. I got brand new measuring cups also. So this was another five bucks. So for twenty dollars, I got all this fun. Okay. So anyway, so okay, so that's that's the tool. Okay, now these are the ingredients. All right, so first of all, uh, to make some, some uh, Portuguese Hawaiian marasadas, you're gonna need butter. Okay, you're gonna need four eggs. There they are. Okay, you're gonna need yeast, either the one in the bottle or the packets. So I'm gonna use the packets today because it's a lot easier. It's already measured out for you folks. And, um, you know, you can just buy right here three in a pack, it was like $1.50. And then you're going to need some flour. Trust me, you're going to want flour. Uh, once you, you, you start uh, following this episode and this, this season's holiday stuff, you're going to want flour, okay? And some measuring cups. Because I'm going to teach you, guys how, teach you guys how to make bread also later. But anywho, all right, we're going to get this uh, started. Uh, we're going to measure this stuff out, uh, get it mixed up. And then while it sets... We're gonna go fishing. So okay, let's get let's get started. All right, guys. So here we go. So the first thing we're gonna have to do uh, to start our marasada mix is we have to get a quarter cup of warm water, just hot water off the tap, not boiling, boiling water, and then we're gonna put. A packet of your yeast inside all right oh uh, we have to feed the yeast with some sugar so we got this is half a cup oh this is three quarters cup of granulated white sugar for our mix so i'm just gonna throw like two pinches in there and i'm gonna stir it up okay get this going now what's going to do is the yeast is going to get activated by the water 
and then it's gonna eat the sugar and then it's gonna start farting so once once uh this is gonna sit for maybe i don't know five minutes while we do the mix now our dry mix is gonna consist of four cups of regular all purpose flour and then we got three quarter cups of white granulated sugar we're gonna put into that okay now that's all in there ready to go now what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack four eggs right into the mix one two Three. And four. Okay, now that is done. Where is my? Okay, now that is that is done. We're gonna start uh, mixing it. So, I'm gonna break the yolk first, and then I'm gonna throw the yeast inside. Okay. Now with that going, we're gonna stir this up and start folding it. Okay, mix this up a little bit. Now, let me get this kind of in there. We're gonna normally you can add regular um, ice water, uh, warm water. Uh, what I like to use is no to. A little bit more flavor. So at this point, you can add either three quarter cups of warm water, or you can put three quarter cups of milk. So I'll put three quarter cups whole milk with our mix, like so. Okay, and then the butter, you're gonna throw this in, you're gonna get a three quarters of a, a bar of butter so we got one bar here so what i'm gonna do <coughs> excuse me i'm gonna put this in okay, let me get a knife a knife will work much better so we'll cut up a quarter of this and uh i'll put it in the cup for now okay so we got this Three quarter cups of butter. We're gonna throw this inside the microwave and get that melted down. But while we're doing that, we're gonna start kind of mixing this in. Okay, start putting this in. And I try not to get two nuts. You know, um, and of course this is this is a lot a lot better when you have uh, family doing it with you. So, like I said, um, you, you have. <laughs> guests come over unexpectedly um make this one hour in advance and uh you'll be you, you'll be fine okay i'm gonna mix this in okay so the butter is just about melted so you always want to keep you know what's good about uh what's what what's helpful with baking staying clean so I just clean as I go along mm -hmm. that's always a, a good trait okay that's fine I'll take it okay so now the butter is melted once again three quarter of your brick throw it in there okay try to get all of it I'm gonna fold that all in Out of, out of mix. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is at home. Okay. Now, um, while we're we're waiting for this uh, to kind of proof, so we're gonna we're gonna let this sit for about an hour. Okay, forty five minutes to an hour. We're gonna check on it. Okay. Um, it's gonna rise, obviously, like bread. It's gonna rise. It's gonna come uh, a little bit more um, ready, ready to go. It's gonna get soft. So okay. So anyway, um, we have our Marasana mix, right? But at the same time, I just want to let you guys know 
there are other options than making it fresh. Me, I prefer, prefer fresh because you can make it at any, any time, any of your convenience. But what my wife likes to use is, uh, you can also use this buttermilk um, biscuit mix that they have uh, in your grocery store. So I got this to show you folks that you can also use this. Um, this is a lot quicker, you know, it tastes a little bit different, you know, uh, compared to your Marasada mix, but <coughs> it's all good when you put your toppings on it. So I got mandarin orange, mixed fruit, we got peaches, we got whipped cream, you know, that we're going to put on top. And uh, so, but yeah, this is, this is the easy way out. You know, tastes a little bit different. A little, yeah. uh, uh, we'll call that um, buttermilk. Uh, probably more on the salty side of a uh, marasada than, you know, than what I'm doing. Yeah, so she says a little bit sour because of the buttermilk. But yeah, so basically, I'm gonna cover this up uh, with a wet a, a wet towel, a clean wet towel, and we're gonna let it sit. And they call it proofing. Uh, it's gonna fluff up uh, in the next hour. Um, and then we're gonna fry some up. So, all right, so we got a nice clean towel. We got a nice clean towel. And we're gonna cover this up. Like, just like that, okay? With a semi, semi moist towel. And uh, wait for it to proof. So, in the meantime, let's go fishing, okay? So, in this episode, um, what are we gonna show? Okay, we show. In this episode, this is when we get our new power plant. Okay, so nothing's wrong with the engine, except except that gas prices are kind of high, and uh, we're trying to be more uh, mindful of the ocean and stuff, and we don't want to put two stroke oil into the into the ocean if we don't have to. So now that we have option to get a new uh, motor for our boat uh, we've been I've, we've been waiting for almost three years for our, our new motor and uh, we had orders to uh, uh, one guy one company two companies to get Yamahas and uh, unfortunately the motors came and the motors went so the motors came and someone else ended up selling uh, uh, the motor that was uh, promised to us so what happened was that I ended up getting a, a, a Suzuki instead. So let's check out the video and see what happens. Yeah, you. Guys, you see the boat? It's here at Bayside Marine. We're putting that 90 Suzuki in. Right there. This is Kai's boat from uh, Nankos, the owner. He just put that 70 Suzuki. So we, it's 16 foot boat. Exact same thing except we're putting a 90 inside. Get a little oomph oomph on that. Just in case we gotta tow somebody in or something. I don't know. It's the same exact weight as, weight as a 70. So might as well put the 90 in for a little bit more. And that's all that's available. So we'll take it. Yeah, you wait on that build. Let's go. Back in the house. Here we are at uh, Kaneohe at Nankos. Today I'm picking up my uh, Tiagra 50 uh, to match our uh, Shimano Tikotas for for the the South Shore. So we're gonna check it out, get it laced up. Let's see what's happening. Yeah, you. All right, guys. There it is, the new toy. You get this laced up with a hundred pound mono. You catch yourself a big ass fish. Yeah, you. Okay, we got 
How much? 450 yards, 100 pound test. 450 yards. Gotta stop the fish by then, guys. Yeah, yo. <laughs> Let's go. All right. We got the new toy. Yeah, you. Here we are, yup. So we met some awesome people. Uh, and uh, we got some fresh gear. Let's go put this on top of our uh, center rod and see what it looks like. Yeah, yo. <laughs> All right, so there we are. We got this bad boy installed. Instead of a 70, we got a 90. <laughs> yeah, you. So today, it's time to break in the motor. <clears throat> it's, it's literally zero, zero, zero. We got a brand new Shimano right here. Of course, we're gonna drag some lines. So we gotta run this thing about three knots for about an hour and 45 minutes after we do the 15 minute idle break in. And then we gotta drag the lines for 4,000 RPMs after that. So it almost be like a high speed Ono trolling today. <laughs> yeah, you. Let's go break in that motor. All right. <clears throat> so I don't even know what the motor sounds like. It's gonna be the first time we're turning it, turning the key. See the hours? Look at that. You never see that again. Zero, 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 one. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. That's quiet, can't even hear him. Just gorgeous. <laughs> Let's get it. Get all kind of new stuff. Oh uh, yeah, you. Yeah. Look at that. All right, so we gotta be at idle for 15 minutes. So basically, we're gonna idle all the way out the harbor while we eat breakfast. I think it take about 15 minutes to eat this. We'll be outside by then, so. Yeah, gotta set up lines on that new Shimano. Oh, we also got hydraulic steering now. So check them out. Check them out. <laughs> yeah, 15,000 bananas later, banana breads later. Yeah, you. for about an hour 45 minutes just below that so feeling really comfortable but anyway got the lines out something's gonna happen Oh, nice. <laughs> 
It's in the boat. I thought I had it recording. But I guess it wasn't. Hey, there you go, guys. Mahi. All right. <laughs> we got fish on that Ama Abbey. All right, guys. So. We hooked up on this mahi, probably about 20 pounds. Uh, I don't know if I got, I don't know if I got the, the, the part that I gaffed it, but um, it's in the boat. So yeah, here we are at only one hour of, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's one hour of breaking in time only. We caught a mahi mahi. Yeah, you. <laughs> So uh, pressure's off. So right now, uh, Asaf is regrouping. He's wiping up the blood. We're bringing it back to three knots and uh, a 3,000 RPM. Excuse me. And then uh, see if we can grab another one. Yeah, you. <laughs> First of all, that was an awesome fishing video. That was an awesome day. I can't, you know. Uh, I want to first of all thank uh, Arnold and Lori at. <laughs> all right, guys. I want. I want first of all, I want to thank Lori and Arnold at Hawaii Marine Solutions for hooking us up with that uh, Suzuki uh, 90. Um, people say that you know the mo the motor and the the humming noise of your boat. Uh, might conflict with the, the new motor and all this and might not catch fish as good but hey we went out we hooked up not even one hour out of the harbor you know we, came, we left out of Alawai they didn't make it to Cocoa Head boom we got our mahi mahi we had dinner so that was a good day <clears throat> so yeah if you guys need a motor check out Hawaii Mar uh, Marine Solutions this is the old uh, Kaneohe Bay Marine, I guess, or something like that. But yeah, check it out. Uh, his name is Arnold, and his wife' name is Laurie. They're super cool, super reliable, super uh, 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 everything. This is super. <laughs> yeah, you support local. But anyway, here we are. We got our we got our uh, marasadas. These are the ones that are in the cookie cutter. They're all poofed up. And then we got, we made some uh, hand size uh, marasada, true marasada ones. So this is the second proof. So we proofed it once and we proofed it again. Um, and now it's ready to bake. So we're gonna start off with getting these ones in first. So I wanna put this on the side. Okay. 
And all you need is a fancy pair of chopsticks. And we'll get this into the fire. Now this is just a regular canola oil. Um, we're also gonna fry up a couple of butter, butter milk biscuits. Um, I'm gonna try the difference and see what, what the difference are. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is drop off, drop these guys and put it on medium high. So right now it's a little hot because I've been talking, but, oh boy. These are the cookie, cookie shaped ones. And we try to keep it as puffy as we can, see? And not disturb the, the puff. <laughs> well, there you go. Drop these ones in first. Hold these. So the, the first the first batch is kind of hot because the oil just uh, just turned on. But as you drop more into the oil, it's gonna start cooling off. And you want to cook these slowly. You want to take your time with them. One one poofer. So we're gonna let that fry. It takes about a minute and a half per side, I would say, depending on your heat. So we try to keep it on medium to go slow. And it's not a problem if you flip them more than once. So we call this huli huli marasara. But there you go, it's got that, because it's, it has sugar inside the, the, the dough. So it's gonna caramelize really quickly. So. Yeah, just keep flipping them. <coughs> so from here, you're gonna wanna take them out, okay? Uh, when they're done. Okay, these ones look done. You're gonna wanna take them out and let them cool. So we'll put it on this cookie sheet, this cookie rack that we got from Ross's. I'm gonna drain some oil. And when the, all the oil is drained, it's easy. You just throw it in sugar, you put toppings on it. But what we're going to do here is, we're going to drop a couple of, of these guys, the sourdough um, biscuits, and we're going to see what's the difference, if there is any difference at all. All right, so that's the first, the first round. It's kind of rough, I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit dark, but we'll see how toasty it tastes. And then here, we're going to have, we have the, the sourdough biscuits. And the thing about this is, you don't have to use the whole uh, biscuits and the biscuit in one shot. You can just cut them up into little pieces, you know, because still tastes the same. But anywho, okay, so that's the, the, the buttermilk biscuits. And these are easier. So for you guys that, you know, don't have time to, to mix up some stuff and, uh, let it sit, just buy some buttermilk biscuits and have them ready on the side. And the kids can do this too. So that's, that's the good part. Right out of the tube, they can cut it up and uh, you can fry them and then they can, they can put their topping on it. But okay, so we're, the, lead, the, the heat is on a medium low. Okay, so we find out that medium low is better for making uh, marasadas, so. Slow is the way to go. Okay, so since we have room, I'm gonna take some of these marasadas from our baking sheet here. I'm gonna drop a couple of these in. Hopefully, um, they don't pop. So the whole idea is to keep it fluffy is to not disturb the, the air inside of it as much as you can, okay? And then when it goes in the oil, it'll poof up again. I'm guessing this would be the same thing as making bread. So if you threw this in the oven and baked it and put some butter on it, you probably end up with some nice marasada muffins or marasada uh, rolls. You can say dinner rolls. So. We made some of these up the other night and I actually ate it with Kahlua pig inside of the, the sourdough uh, buttermilk, buttermilk 
um, for the milk biscuit rolls. And it was really good because there was a little uh, tartness to it from the, the sourness. But yeah, there you go. It looks really good. So here you go. True marasadas. Real light, real airy. We're going to see how it tastes in a minute when we put our fixings on it. So stay tuned. All right. Yes. <clears throat> so as we're finishing up the marasadas, we got a couple left. We're gonna throw this in the oven with a little bit of butter on top. And we're gonna see how this thing turns out. Yeah, you. Buttermilk biscuits. Oh yeah. Set yourself free guys. That's what I'm trying to do. Let's go. Let's go. Five more minutes. Alright, check it out. We got some hot marasadas. Kodigi marasadas. And this is the sourdough uh buttermilk biscuit marasada so that one tastes a little bit different but let's plate this up and try it out oh yeah all right so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna put nice flaky fresh marasada okay and then what we're going to add to that is some fresh peaches. I want some fresh peaches. We're going to add fresh peach half here. Uh, we'll, do, we'll, do, we'll do one peach. Okay. And a little bit of the mandarin orange. Okay. So the thing about the fruit that we're using is it's light on syrup or light on sugar in the syrup. So mandarin, mandarin orange is not that sweet. The peaches is not that sweet. Even our cocktail mix, our fruit cocktail mix is not that sweet. So we can use even some of this inside. Just to doll it up a little bit. I'll just use the cherry. I'm gonna put the cherry in here. Just to make it look nice. There you go, some red in there. All right, and then we're gonna cut up the peach. Okay, we're gonna turn it to make it pretty. And then we got whipped cream. Okay, so whipped cream. All right, guys, you know this part of the story. I hate to do it to you guys, but I'm gonna have to sample this thing out. So here we are, and let's get a close up. All right, so this is something probably never seen before. There's somebody cut a marasada with chopsticks and a plastic fork. Oh yeah, we're doing it. Look at that, can you see? Look at the air pockets in there. Oh my goodness. It's kind of like a cross between a Portuguese marasada and an andagui. Man. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a piece of peach on top with a little bit of whipped cream. 
Yeah, I'm gonna put this in my face. Mmm. 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 Wow. That's good. Look at this. That is so good. My goodness. So you know what you guys can do? You guys can subscribe. Okay? Look at that. And if you approve to this, give us a thumbs up. Now I'm going to try it with the mandarin, mandarin orange. Okay, so... Marasada has got a little bit of sweetness to it. Okay. We're going to put orange. You give it some tartness. We're going to put some cream. So it's like orange and cream right here. I don't know if I can fit this in my face. I'm going to try. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. 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 So good. Huh. There you go, guys. Blue Water Cowboys. Portuguese. Marasada. Right here. You want to try it? And right here we got our Portuguese Marasada rolls. Look at that. Here, Pepper Pot's gonna try some of this. No words. No words. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I covered. <laughs> so what, approve? All right. Now that's good. All day, all day. Now we're gonna try out the biscuits. How are we gonna eat the biscuits? I feel like I wanna put bacon and eggs inside. Or ham, or turkey, or something. Yeah, or you can just put butter. Butter and uh, some jelly, peanut butter. Yeah. That'd be really nice. All right. All right, so here we got the, the marasada roll. I'm gonna crack it open, see what it looks like. Look at that, look at that. Whoa, look at all the air inside. Can you see that? All the pockets. So this is the, the, the homemade marasada mix. Oh, it smells so good, it's like fresh bread. I don't know if you guys know the smell of fresh bread, like Love's Bakery. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It has like the sweetness of like a cornbread. It has a little sweetness and butteriness. Really good. You can eat it just like this. You can eat it just like this. This is good as it is. Yeah, it's, it's, I would say it's a Portuguese sweet bread. The difference between the marasada and the Portuguese sweet bread is that the por Portuguese sweet bread has um, potato inside. You didn't think I know that, huh? So it's mashed potatoes, basically. It's potato buds, but it's mashed potatoes in with the, um, the flour and the butter and everything. And that's what makes the sweet bread a little bit stretchy. So it tastes like a sweet bread, but it has the consistency of... Uh, A biscuit it's not dry okay it's not dry but it's like a biscuit or, or a dinner roll this would be really good for Thanksgiving guys this would be really good for Thanksgiving so the thing about this is you gotta let it rise two times okay so I did it once one rise and I fried it up and it turned to under ghee so what I did the second time, this one, was I made portions the second time and I let it proof up again. And when it rised the second time, it came really big. 
and I try to put it right into the fire without disturbing, uh, popping the bubbles. And uh, it held its shape. And uh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Bro, you guys don't have to go to the store anymore. So like, subscribe, so you have the recipe, so you can make more stuff. But anyway, here you go. We got, we got the cinnamon sugar buttermilk biscuits. I'm just going to, I'm not going to even play around, okay? I'm, I'm not even going to play around. I'm just going to straight dip this in the whipped cream, all right? Mmm. That's good, too. Cinnamon sugar with whipped cream. Wow, the whipped cream gives it a nice, um, I want to say ice cream taste. A little coconutty with the, the, the topping, the icing on top, the homemade icing. Mmm. Wow. I'm going to smash that with some, with peach. Mmm. All right. Sorry. All right. I'm done eating. All right. So, the fruit helps tone down all the sugar if you're concerned about sweetness. And again, you, and, and, and you don't have to put this much sugar on top of it. You know, I wouldn't recommend putting so much on top. We just threw it on top and really sugary. But yeah, I would go light on the sugar, put a lot of fruit, and if you can, put whipped cream. And the mint leaf is from the garden. That's a bonus. Let me tell you, people eat with their eyes. So the difference between the restaurant and it made at home is the mint leaf and, and the black plates. Anyway, all right, you guys. Blue out of cowboy, homemade marasadas, Portuguese marasadas, and Portuguese marasada dinner rolls. Really good. I wish I had some uh, char siu and I shove it in there and make it into a manapua. <laughs> Big manapua. But anyway, yeah, as you guys can see, there's no end in what you can do with this recipe. So, uh, once again, I want to give a, a, a mahalo and a shout out to. Um, Hawaii Marine Solutions. I want to give a shout out to uh, Kai, at uh, the owner of uh, Nancos, and the crew at Nancos for hooking me up with uh, that Shimano 50 wide. That's gonna come in handy. Anyway, um, yeah, support local, eat fresh food, fresh fish when you can. Uh, most of all, love one another. And you know what? For the holidays. Let's bake. <laughs> yeah, you. Peace out, everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Aloha. Yeah. Hey, I just met this cool guy, Mike. Watch his YouTube channel. It's awesome. Yeah, you. Eat fresh, stay local, and support our community. Yeah, you. Yeah, Aloha. you. <laughs> That's what's up, guys. Right. See you guys on the next one. Peace out.